seven days a week. Wet ass make that pull like game week. I wanna know how you do I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is currently, um, what's the time? I look a mess. It is currently 8.08 a.m. I had a bit of a sleep in today because last night I was exhausted. I had a huge day as you would have seen in the previous vlog. It was Frey's birthday. So I'm going to the gym this morning at 9.15. I've got quite a lot to get done today. But like if I can't get it done, it is not the end of the world. And I feel like I used to be like, oh my god, like I have got this, this and this due. And like if I can't get it all done, I can't get it all done, you know? I need to wash my hair desperately because yesterday I had it in like a really tight slick back bun and I had so much hairspray in it, so my hair is just like a mess now. But it was so nice yesterday celebrating Frey's birthday. I'm just writing my to-do list. I don't like this one that I have. It's from Kmart. It just doesn't... I didn't have the one that I normally have. Let me write, so I've got the gym this morning. I've got some content that I need to get as well. I need to go to the supermarket because I want to get my pizza bases. Yeah. I need to edit the weekly vlog, get that ready to go. I feel like too, summer, even though we're not in summer yet, it's basically here. The past couple days, it's like switched to being stinking hot all the damn time, which is just a fact of life, I think. Yeah, I want to get a better to-do list. I don't like this one because there's not enough space for me to write to-do today. Okay, you can't hear anything I'm saying, but anyway. I need to leave kind of soon anyway because I slept in for me. Holy moly, that was a really good session. Oh, I have so much energy in that session, wow. So, if you are interested in the calories, we did 232 active, 276. That was a really good session. It's the type of cardio that I like, quite like body weight stuff and like jumping on boxes. I like jumping on boxes. Right, I'm going to head off to the supermarket to grab some food for the week. Not for the week, but like... Howdy. I'm all matchy matchy right now with my face masks going on. I've just got on some James Cosmetics eye masks and their hydration masks. So I look a bit crazy, but I thought I would do an unboxing while I wait for my mask to do its thing. I'm also just eating a carrot. The slippers in the background. I've got quite a bit of PR that's like built up over the past week or so. So I thought I would do an unboxing in one go. And I've just been so busy, which is good and amazing. It's just, yeah, I'm like, normally I have time to unbox things as I get them. But lately, I've just been letting it pile up. So the first one is from uh, Breeze Balm, Slay Baby Slay. Oh my God, there's candy canes in here. I love candy canes. Anything Christmas. Oh, this bag is actually so cute. So they've just launched a, I'm assuming this is like a candy cane scented. Candy canes just make me think of school. I don't know why. And obviously Christmas. But this is their, oh my God, so cute. Sweet mint. Oh, they've come out with some, oh my God, that, that color is beautiful. Wow. They've come out with some really cool scents lately. <gasps> it's just so minty. Wow. Love that. Breeze Balm. Thank you so much. So hot at the moment. Whew. And then I got just then a package in from Maybelline. This is their Lift a Gloss. I think I've seen some people unbox these. Judy Hadid action. Lift a Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. They look really pretty. The PR box is a bit um, <laughs> disheveled. <gasps> Stop! Oh my gosh. The packaging on this is stunning. Very like high end feeling. Like look at some of those colors. Ooh, these are so. Ooh, look at that nude. That's pretty. I really like the look of this one. Hang on. Oh, wow, Maybelline. They smell really nice. Hang on. Let's put it on. Oh, I look insane. <laughs> My masks are slipping. I probably should be lying down with these on, Um, but we must unbox. Wow, that feels so nice. Like not gritty or anything like that. Those are stunning. They look very like Kim Kardashian packaging. Pretty. Thank you so much, Maybelline. I got in some goodies from Beginning Boutique. It's from their swim line and they sent some like crochet pieces. So we've got some little shorts, which for the beach, these would be so cute. Really love those. Hello. Can I sit with you? Yeah. How pretty are these glosses from Maybelline? Look at me. How nice. They look like oh, yeah. Kim Kardashian. Mm. KW. Would you like a candy cane? 
Um, I've read a list of everything bad that's happened to me this year. And everything good. And when you have a moment, I'm going to read it to you just so I can get off my chest. Okay. Okay, and then they also sent this, which is quite cool. Obviously a bit of a beach cover up. It's like one of those things that you'd have to see on the body, but it's really pretty. It's definitely like, yeah, a bit of a beach cover up vibe, crochet. Oh yeah, and there was also a little top with those shorts. So it's like a little halter neck crop. That actually would be so cute. Then I also got in a package from a brand called Lenny Swims. Hi Connor, we've handpicked this set made from recycled materials just for you. I've never heard of this brand before, but look at the color. It's like the same color as my shirt. So much yellow going on right now. It says it's in a size medium, which I was kind of like, ooh, might be a bit big. But it actually, I haven't tried it on yet, but it looks like it will be all right. That's what, it's so cute. So it's like got a little ruching on the side. That's the Instagram right there. Little focus. And then the top, I feel like actually this is probably going to fit fine because look how small the top looks. So, so cute. Thank you so much for that, Lenny Swim. I hope I'm saying that right. Sustainably and ethically made eco luxe swimwear. And then I got this big box in the mail that said like this way up and it's quite heavy. And I was like, what on earth could that possibly be? I've never received any type of PR from like Kylie Cosmetics or Kylie Skin or anything, but... I think you know where this is going. I'm assuming it's just the Kylie skin is launching at Mecca. Maybe not Kylie Cosmetics. But yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I know Kylie skin is not loved by a lot of people. Look at this package. It is a full-on mirror. Hi. And it opens up like this. And it's got all the products inside. Like, this is probably one of the most beautiful PR packages I've ever received. So yeah, it's massive. I want to, like, make some use for this. I feel like I can literally just put this on my um, vanity and use it as a, like, a closer mirror, really. So yeah, we've got the skincare line, which I probably won't be using, like, the walnut face scrub. But some of the other things I might give a go and let you know how we like it. I actually want to smell the face cleanser. Oh yeah, just kind of smells like soap. Very pretty. If ever wanted to try Kylie Skin, it's launching at Mecca. When does it say? On the 10th of November. So it should be already there. But yeah, crazy. Thank you so much, Mecca and Kylie Skin. I need to delete some clips off my memory card. Hang on. Okay, I just turned the air conditioner on too because it's hot. I also got in a package from White Fox as well. And they sent out some little pieces. I'll just go through this really quickly because otherwise this will be a very long haul. So we've got this little pink tie-dye. I think my code with White Fox might be still active because I did a haul with them the other week. So I think my code is Connor15. Be on that video, I can't remember off the top of my head. Then we've also got this jumper, which, oh my gosh, the color of this is so pretty. I really love the sage vibes. Um, unfortunately, it's probably a bit too hot to wear this at the moment, but definitely in the winter time. Got a little white singlet. They got this in black as well, but I think I put that somewhere. Kind of the sweatshirt version of the pink tie-dye. Just says New York White Fox. I've never tried any of White Fox's um sweatpants. So these, ooh, these are cute. The sweatpant version, what size are they? A small, I feel like they'll fit really nicely. And then we've also got the shorts. I feel like I might need an extra small in their shorts though, but very nice. Thank you so much, White Fox. I've just created the biggest mess. I don't even want to show you. Yeah, I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got a meeting with my manager and probably just busy editing and doing content. Yeah. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw Hello guys! Um, have I vlogged today? I think I filmed like me kind of cleaning my room. It's currently, what's the time, 4, 3.58. I'm on my way to the gym. Well, I'm gonna pop into Kmart just beforehand. I'm cutting it a little bit fine. I'm going this afternoon just because I had to get a lot of content done this morning. I'm gonna pop into Kmart, pick up my coat hangers. 
uh, because I need some. I like to hang up my clothes because I can see it all better, particularly my active wear because I have so much of it now. Right, but I'm wearing a long sleeve Gymshark shirt today. The weather's been like, it's so muggy. Why am I vlogging in the car when I need to go? Um, it's really muggy today, but then it's also kind of cold. Um, I feel like it'll be alright because it's weights and it won't be too hot. But yeah, gym and then I'm going to come home and we're going to have pizza for dinner. But yeah, today's been a pretty productive day. Just got some content done. November is so hectic. I'm kind of excited for it to be over. Just so I can breathe a little bit. Pardon me, anyway. Kmart time. <sighs> okay. Just got done. I look sweaty. That was a really hard session. Oh, well, it was good. We did 196 active, 241 total calories. Excuse me. <laughs> I wonder if my Starbucks cup came. I ordered a Starbucks cup. I had one. Can I go forward? Yes. I got one when I was in America last year. I filmed with it before. It's just like a Starbucks keep cup and I loved it. I broke it in like January or something. I, like I dropped it and the bottom of it smashed and I was so sad. This is a story that is not that exciting. And I've always wanted to get another one. And then I saw it on Amazon and I was like, let's buy it. It's probably super overpriced, but I just want to put my coffees in it. Oh, speaking of breaking things, why am I actually the... Did I actually break that? to you. To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love guys this guy just full-on was staring at me as he was walking past my car what? um it's 6 55 a.m i'm wearing blue one because i like the color two because they said to wear state of origin colors and i'm from new south wales so so i'm in all blue today i'll chat to you guys after <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have not sweat that much in a very long time. Holy moly. I need to go get petrol. I definitely need to wash my hair today as well because that was intense. So we could disregard the thought of ever having to part for summer is for falling. now like quarter past two i've just been doing editing working um and about to make my lunch i had a smart protein bar before i've had pizza like three days in a row now am i gonna stop no but i got in a really cool package from naked harvest i have heard so many good things about naked harvest so i've just got the oven preheating so i'm, I'm sorry if you can hear that but they've sent me like all their products which is so amazing i love georgie stevenson i think she's incredible like Everything about her, I aspire to be. <laughs> so we've got their Thrive Plant Protein. I've heard really great things about this. It's basically an all natural protein. It's vegan, dairy free, gluten free. I actually had some of this today. I had the mango cheesecake flavor and it was really good. Sometimes vegan protein can be a bit tricky because it can taste a bit real grainy, but this was delicious. They also sent like a little Naked Harvest water bottle that has a straw. So I'm definitely going to be using this at the gym. Oh, that's such good quality. Love that. We've got chocolate swirl protein powder. The names of these are just 10 out of 10. The vanilla pancake batter, strawberry cream. And then, ooh, I think this is like a little, we've got a little shaker. 
which is really cute. We've got all their pre-workouts, which very, very keen for because I was taking OxyShred for a while, like pretty consistently. Now I probably have OxyShred maybe twice a week, just when I feel like I need it. So very keen to give these a go. They have, wow, I didn't know they had so many flavors. Wow, thank you. Oh, I feel so, what's in here? These are a spoon. Ooh, oh, that's cool. So you can like clip this onto your protein bag for the scoop. How cool. And then we've got a little scoop up. Thank you. Okay, so they're flavors of the pre-workout, which the blueberry lemonade one, I'm trying that tomorrow, is, looks amazing. Sweet strawberry, what's this, grape, tropical iced tea, lemon lime crush, and then this is cool too. It's a chocolate moon milk. It's basically chocolate milk. <laughs> I'm sorry the lighting, it looks overexposed. I'm the type of person I need to finish off the night with something sweet, so that's right up my alley. I just wanna smell the blue one. That smells, cause these are all natural, so that smells very sweet. So the macros, it's like 8.4 cows, zero pretty much of everything else. Ooh, it smells cool. I really wanna try it. Um, it's got, it has caffeine in it, so that's what the like macros are. I also want to smell the sweet strawberry. Ooh. Oh, that actually smells like real strawberry. You know how you have that like fake strawberry smell? That smells delicious. Thank you so much, Naked Harvest. And then I want to give this a smell too, actually. I will be sure to let you know because I've never had like a proper pre-workout because in my opinion, OxyShred, it like doesn't give me energy. It's a fat burner. Ooh, chocolatey. These are like a pre-workout workout. Right, pizza time. I've been using the um, Co Universal Cleaner lately and it's so good. It's got no chemicals in it, so it's not harmful or anything like that. Happy Thursday. I'm at the shops. Um, I just got my laser done. I intended on vlogging this morning, but I feel like I was just rushing a lot. Literally got to my appointment just in time. So I didn't vlog. Okay, so yeah, I just got done. It's currently like 9.28. I am so sore, holy moly, like from the gym and everything. I think that was my eighth laser session. Hang on. Does anyone else really struggle sticking this in the thingy? Right. Definitely quite painful at this point because they obviously have to crank up the intensity, I guess. Um, so yeah, whew. I mean, it's over pretty darn fast, but yeah, definitely makes you flinch a little bit, especially in the Brazilian, you know? Tomorrow morning, I have a very, very exciting Zoom call meeting for a little project I'm working on, which you guys probably won't see for a very long time, but it's very exciting, so. Yeah, I listened to Crime Junkie on the way here. I'm gonna listen to it on the way back too. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's now 2.51. It's usually about from like 2 p.m. to about 4 p.m. Oh God, that I get pretty tired. It doesn't always happen, but I definitely have weeks or days where I kind of hate it because I want to like keep going and be productive because I feel like I shouldn't be getting tired like in the middle of the day. But it usually passes and it doesn't happen all the time. But anyway, I just had a smoothie and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go sit outside to just kind of like re-energize myself. Um, and I feel like I may have just gotten sunburnt on my leg. <laughs> That is the reality of being as fair as I am naturally. Like, anyway, beside the point, I've just been editing. What's new? So editing makes you so tired, like, honestly, but I got in. I got in a package from Fenty Beauty and I just dropped it on the floor. I also need to ship out the giveaway package that I did um, last Sunday. Fire up your holiday spirit with the new minis from Fenty Beauty. Why am I delirious right now? How cute are these? Holiday things are just the best. So Fenty Beauty, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs, is that what they're called? Yeah, these are probably my favorite lip glosses ever. They're just so good. And then we've got the Fenty Beauty Lip Paints, unmatched and underrated. 
Oh, that's good. Kind of just pops up like that. So those are the colors. They're like very deep burgundy red and purple, very Christmassy. And then, ooh, some of these. So pretty. We've got the Universal Lip Gloss um, or Lip Gloss Bomb. I have mine in my bag, which is almost out. So that's perfect timing, actually. We've got a, ooh, I'm keen for that. There's a blush and the Diamond Veil. I need to post this on my Instagram story first, though, so I can open this. Always using my bed as a little backdrop for getting content. This is what I do, if you've ever wondered. So like setting it up like this. I kind of have phases with the filters. At the moment, I really like using the Armoury filter, but I don't use it on my face because I look like insane. But if you put it on products, it kind of makes it sparkle a little bit, but it's not like too intense. So let me just do, do, you want, do one of these. Sometimes it's so hard to get decent. Okay, I'm gonna open this. My life is a never ending saga of TikTok songs stuck in my head. I also got a new print for that wall over there. It's really cute. I think we can do it if we try. I don't know the words. Oopsie. Oh, wait, it's just the best lip gloss. Fenty Glow number 11. What does this look like? Ooh, a very like deep, almost like a bronzer. I don't know why I smelt it. And then this, the Fenty Glow. Oh, stop. This is 100% too dark for me as a highlight, but it might not be. <gasps> no way. Look, as like a blush topper. Okay, that did not do it justice at all. I probably could make this work actually. Like you probably could get it to work. Does anyone else use packaging to like wipe stuff off their hands? I think we can do it if we try. Oh, they're so cute. These are actually a really nice formula. <gasps> oh my God, it's so little. Ooh, that looks stunning. Look at that. That one's called Cake Shake. Oh, the colors. So pretty. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I just want to put on the cake one. Ah. <gasps> They look so nice, oh, love. I will chat to you guys later on, probably tomorrow, to be honest, when I'm doing something a bit more exciting. I don't think I'm doing anything. What's today, Thursday? Raise your glass to mine, and as we drink, we would lock eyes. So we could disregard the thought of ever having to part for summer. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is currently 8.40 a.m. I'm in my bedroom. I'm about to hop on a meeting call, a Zoom call, although it's not Zoom, it's Google Meet, for a very exciting meeting that I'm actually kind of nervous about because, I don't know, when it comes to talking to like other professionals in the industry that isn't my manager, because I feel like she's just basically my friend, we just kind of chat, you know, like as if we're friends and stuff. So when it's like professional people, I'm like, ah, I'm like a 21 year old girl living in Brisbane, you know? Like, I don't want to come off as being unprofessional or... I don't know, but then again, they always say, like, just be yourself. What's my name? Connor. Okay, I just got off the meeting or the call, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I obviously can't tell you what's happening at the moment, but yeah. Hi! Morning! How do you think that went? Good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It was just good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It is currently 11.52 a.m. I don't have my tripod, but I need to set you somewhere. Just eating some cucumber and like sriracha, Dijon mustard, a bit of pizza sauce, I think. I've just rested you on a Starbucks cup, but I had the best sleep in this morning. Oh, I got up at like, I mean, I woke up before seven and then I went back to sleep and I got up at like 8.30. My body needed that so badly. I think I'm gonna try to make more of an effort to sleep in on the weekend, like or at least one of the days of the weekend, um, just to like rest. <laughs> so I feel very rejuvenated. I've been taking it pretty easy this morning, but I've gotten like work done and stuff, which is nice. Um, and I might do some like Instagram stories today that I need to get done next week. Because of Black Friday, it's gonna be a bit hectic. So I'm probably gonna have a little bit more sponsored content than usual, purely because it's Black Friday. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Also, let me address this. This is not real. Freya has a bunch of like little jewelry pieces. So we were like playing around and put it in my nose. And I was like, why do I not hate this? For those of you who didn't know, I used to have my nose pierced for like 
couple months when I was like 15 or so. Um, but I took it out because it was kind of infected and I just, yeah, I couldn't be bothered with it. So I don't know, I kind of like it. I need to see what I look like with makeup on and everything, but it's a really nice day today. It was really hot this morning, but there's a breeze now. I think I'm gonna pop out to the supermarket just to pick up a few bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, tonight Freya and I are going out to a birthday party. So I'll show you us getting ready. This tan, by the way, is just the gradual tanner. I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. <laughs> I don't know what my tripod is. This is just the gradual tanner from Loving Tan. Like it's pretty dark and everything. So might do that more often. But yeah, let me show you the nose ring. It's so funny. I squeezed a pimple here yesterday. So should I get a nose ring? What do you guys think? <laughs> Seven days a week. Wet ass <laughs> make that put like game week. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from the supermarket. I'm going to do a quick little grocery haul. I don't know where my tripod has gone. I need to find it. Let me... Okay, sorry, you can't see my face, but anyway. More frozen cauliflower. I got another one, but I put it downstairs. We got some pizza bases. The other like types of pizza bases are on sale. These weren't, unfortunately. Got two of those. I also got a pack of gum. I'm not really a gum chewer, but it was on sale, so I got the five gum. Then I got some mushrooms. I got some more bananas for my pancakes. I'm actually gonna have pizza for lunch, so I'm just getting that out. I got some zucchini and some more cucumbers. That is my non-exciting grocery haul. Hey guys, Freya and I are just trying to decide what we're gonna wear tonight. Don't wear the hat. This is something I got from Princess Polly, but Freya's currently wearing like one of the Amen crops. And it's funny because I know it's active wear, but it kind of looks cute together. And like the nasty gal skirt. So I'm gonna wear this long dress that's just on the floor over there. Um, but we'll show you what it looks like. Oh, the green's cute too. Today has gone so fast. I feel like I blinked and it was over. Um, I also did a poll on my Instagram asking what you guys think about my nose ring. It's very 50-50. Um, but yeah, I will, I've already got makeup on because I was gonna film some stories. I didn't end up doing it. I was just like, oh, I'll just probably do it tomorrow or Monday or whatever. So I've got makeup on already and I don't know. I probably, I'm not gonna redo it. I might just add something to it. We'll see, but. A bit of eyeshadow. A bit of eyeshadow, yeah. But yeah, I'll show you when we're getting ready and stuff. For falling. In love. Okay, so this is the makeup that I did. I put like um, a little brown liner and then I cut in a winged uh, what's the word? eyelash in, like I cut it so I kind of just put it on the edge so it gives it that like little. And then I decided to put my hair in a bun just because I wasn't feeling ponytail. So the dress is from Princess Polly. I'm gonna do a haul on my Instagram. It's like a full length moment. It's really pretty. And then it's got like a little backless tie. Yeah, and then these shoes are from Nasty Gal. Hoops are Princess Polly as well. Yeah, a bit different for me. Okay, so the bra is actually from Amen. It's like a sports bra, but it kind of like looks really good. So it's like a little ribbed khaki. And then this is the skirt that we showed in the Nasty Gal haul that you guys would have seen. So it's like a little ruched. And then some black combat boots. Cute. Show them your hair. Show them my sunburn. And then we've got, oh yeah, Freya's really sunburnt. So <laughs> those are our fits. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. How cool are these sunglasses first of all? I got a package in from Key yesterday. It was so funny, the postman came. It was Saturday, so I was like, what? He came and it was like he was looking for the package. And then I was like at the door ready to open and then he just left and I was like so confused. And then like a couple hours later, he came back and delivered the package. So I've got these and then two others, which are, I love, they're massive, but I have a big face. So please tell me. I brought my towel. It is Sunday today, I'm at the gym. Um, as you saw, Freya and I went out last night. I didn't drink just because I wasn't feeling like it. Uh, I just posted my nasty gal, like Freya raked my outfits yesterday. You guys are loving the video, you like think it's so funny, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing a white fox set today actually, which I haven't worn yet at the gym. So I've got the top and the pants and then I've just popped on like a stacks crop over the top just so I'm not like super exposed because it's quite like small and I don't want my boobs to just pop out, you know? I might go to the shops with my mum. I want to try and get some Instagram stories filmed and then hopefully have a bit of a chill day. Get ready for next week because it's going to be a big week next week. I can't believe it's like the 22nd of November. 
Wow, that's insane. I am seriously contemplating it, my nose pierced. I did a poll on Instagram and it was very half and half, so... Okay, so I'm home now. This is what my earrings look like. So this ear is like decked out at the moment. So I got my fourths done. Um, I have a very small earlobes. It's currently 3.54 p.m. Oh gosh. I've just been editing um, a little bit, but I think I'm gonna end off this weekly vlog here just cause I'm not getting up to much more for the rest of the day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. In love.